Oh man, okay, so like, oh god, this whole story is, is absolutely nuts, man. So, the original game, Miss Pac-Man, the arcade game that we all know, was technically like an official ROM hack of the original Pac-Man. And it was something that Namco never technically owned, I, I think is how it goes. Midway is the company that owned the license. Things were starting to get very hairy after merchandise royalties were becoming too high. And while the license would end up falling back to Namco for a little while, the General Computer Corporation Group would have to be paid royalties for use of the character in commercial contexts and and in 2019, those royalties would then be acquired by, ah, God, uh, at games. That's a very long story short, but yes, essentially, you know those garbage micro Genesis consoles that you see in your local Walmart's bargain bin? The company that was initially gonna do the official Genesis classic, and then after social media outrage, Sega said, uh, you know what, never mind, uh, they're gone, we're gonna do it instead. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> those are the guys who are responsible for us not having Miss Pac-Man nowadays. Great. So, rather than Namco simply try to work with them and then pay them, they basically decided to just move on as if Miss Pac-Man never existed. Newer collections never feature the classic game. I mean, perhaps this is why we didn't get the obvious skin for Pac and Smash. Always thought that would have made the most sense in the world. Any games that did have her in Pac-Man Museum Plus now feature a redesign, so they went back in and changed up some of these really old ROMs just to avoid dealing with ad games. That's hilarious. And I'm even convinced that this is the entire reason why Pac-Man World got a full-blown remake, just to, just to replace the entire Pac family and act as if the originals were never there. Now we have Pac Mom. Now we get to show off Pac Mom to the world. Namco did try a few other female packs over the years, probably all gonna be one-offs, honestly. But as far as the original Miss that we all know and love, well, her final official appearance was in Sonic Dash, of all things, for a Pac-Man crossover event. I, man, I did not see that one coming. And dude, even Namco knows this is all insane too. Just like, let's just jettison ad games into the sun. I, I think, I think that'll be fine. All of this spotlight on the brand new Pac-Mom is certainly wild to see, but there are two bright sides. For one, we all have a new public reason to shame ad games, and that is something that I am all for, but also, it led to a whole lot of conversation around Pac-Man World with Repack. That, that's a really good thing. I'm very happy about that. Uh, sh shame, shame on you ad games.